What's up guys, welcome back. Yet another video in this bad boy. We're going to go over how to do the goggles in this one, which I've painted with a black metal effect. Just start off by blocking them in with a flat black. I've used Vallejo model colour black, it gives you a really nice matte finish. To this, mix in some Vallejo dark sea blue until you get this uh, dark grey tone. We'll paint this on towards the corner here on the back of the goggles. Remember that we have our main light source coming down from this side, so it's going to catch the goggles on that corner right there. Then on the top part, we're going to paint along the lower edges of the little rims. Add some white into your mix and we'll go back for our second highlight. So again, we're targeting that corner area on both sides of the goggles and I'm just pulling the paint across the surface to where I want the highlight to be at its strongest. Don't worry too much about getting this 100% smooth. We actually want some irregularities in there to give the illusion of some sort of surface texture. Add a little more white and we'll switch to a smaller brush now and start to work on some of the more precise details. So right on the corner I'm painting little horizontal lines, again to try and give the illusion of some kind of texture. So we're just going to build the colour up a bit on these little edge sections as well. And we'll add a couple of dots just to the side of the highlight to give us a bit of texture. Also it helps to make that transition less abrupt. I'll add a few more lines just to build up the colour slightly. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Again you can see that it's looking pretty rough at this stage. It's much the same idea as we used on the leather. We're going to start off a little haphazard and then gradually increase the precision as the colour gets brighter. Alright so just go ahead and add a bit more white into your mix and we'll continue working up the highlights. So I'm doing the same sort of thing as before but this time I'm focusing more on that corner point to build up the brightness of the highlight. Just painting little horizontal lines. I find this much easier than trying to get a perfectly smooth blend. Plus the finished effect ends up being slightly more realistic as your eye seems to register all that layered texture as sort of a, a brushed metal effect. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. At this stage I'll also add some little dots and the odd line or two into the darkest areas. Just use your artistic judgement here. If you paint one on and it doesn't look right, you can always paint over it really easily with your black, so don't worry about messing those up. I'll just go over that highlight a little bit more so that the paint is nice and solid right in the middle there. Alright, so grab some pure white now and we'll use that for the final highlights. Now all we're going to do here is simply repeat the last step, but we're going to try and cover a slightly smaller surface. Just touching the brush on that corner point should be enough to leave a little blob of paint and that's going to give you a nice strong highlight. And on the line there at the corner we'll put a couple of dots in rather than painting a line. That will give you a slightly more interesting look. And we'll do the same sort of thing on the other side, just picking out that middle point with a few little dots. Now on the little rim parts we'll add a few small highlights with the white, just adding a couple of little dots to simulate points of light. And again the same idea on the other side. So there you can see that the effect is starting to come through now. It's pretty straightforward to do but it gives you a really great result. So to continue on the rims on top we'll do basically the same again but without the texture lines because there really isn't enough room on the surface for that kind of thing. So we'll do these highlights pretty smooth. I'm targeting the lower part of the rim with our grey mix and I'm just building the highlight up so that it's strongest at the lowest point. So each time I take a lighter colour I'm just pulling it across the surface towards that lowest area. Once we start using our brighter grey mix I'll put some little dots along the top edge of the rim as that's where the light would be catching it. Then we'll put a final little dot of white right on the brightest point. Now to do the upper part of the rim we'll switch to some of our Caspian Blue and we're just going to paint that on near the top side. So this is going to represent a reflection of the sky which is the same sort of idea we used on the top of the glasses in one of the earlier videos. So once that's blocked in we'll make a one to one mix of Caspian Blue and Black and we'll thin that down a little with some water to a glaze consistency. Then with a very small amount on the brush I'll go back and glaze over the transition in the direction of the highlight. And we'll just do that in a couple of layers until that edge disappears. 
Alright, so now we just build up the intensity of that highlight uh, by progressively adding white to it. So each time we're placing a lighter colour by sweeping the brush up to that high point. And it's basically the same thing on the other side. And we'll add one on the front edge there so that he doesn't get too lonely. There. Maybe a few little happy dots off to the side. There. And one over there. Don't they look wonderful? Like two peas sailing along a little river singing a song. I think this corner here is feeling left out so let's show him some attention. There you go little guy. Look at that now. He's just loving it. A bit brighter now. Boop. Look at that sparkle. Look at that sparkle. Beautiful. Should we do that again? Let's do it again. Boop. I think we're on a roll. That's just swell. I could do this all day. It would be a boring world without happy little boops to keep us all entertained. Just wonderful. In fact, that was so good, I think we'll do it again. Over here this time. Are you all ready? Boop. There now. Isn't that better? Let's use some white now on the other side and we'll put a happy little highlight along that edge. I'm not sure where they're going to end up. We'll just let the brush find its own way. He knows what he's doing. Look at that now. I hardly helped at all. What a clever little fella. I think I'll give him a cookie after this. What do you say? Do you think he's earned it? I think so too. This little guy could choose some friends. Let's give him what he wants. There. Now he's the most popular guy in town. Look at that. I think they might be having a party. Boy, I do hope we're invited. Right, stop that! Silly! <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was getting carried away there. But, um, I, that's us finished the black part anyway. <laughs> right, uh, we'll do the lenses now and we'll start off with our Caspian Blue and I'll just block these in near the, the top. Then we'll take that one-to-one -one black and Cassian blue glaze and push it up towards the highlight to help blur out the transition. So this is going to help uh, simulate a reflection from the sky. So I'm just stippling this on as it doesn't need to be all that smooth. It's a little dull at the top so we'll make the colour a bit more opaque with some of the Caspian blue. Yep, that's alright. Add a little white to your Caspian blue and some water to thin it down and we'll just push that up to the highlight. Okay, so now we're going to add a few dots over the surface and um, just try and make these quite sparse. We don't want it to end up looking like fabric or fur. Add a bit more white and we'll do the same thing again, still applying little dots but focusing more on that top corner. And we're going to add a little line here to try and simulate a scratch on the surface. Add a bit more white and we'll go back for a couple more highlights. So we'll do the same thing on the other side here and again I'll speed this up just so that you can see the process. So we begin by blocking in our blue near the top, then we blend it out a little with a 1 to 1 blue and black mix, stippling it on so it's not 100% smooth. You can see I'm making more of the surface blue, that's because the lens is tilted more towards the sky than on the other side. Start to build up your highlight by mixing in white, stippling it on near the upper side. And I'm going to add a few little lines here and there just to simulate scratches. And then I'm going to continue stippling, building up the highlight until you get close to pure white. And that'll about do us. I think it turned out quite well. Let me know what you thought. I um, hope you're still enjoying this series. We're uh, nearly finished now, so it's just a short and a cigarette to do. Then we can move on to some new stuff. I just want to say a big thank you, as always, for supporting the content. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see in the future, and I'll see what I can do. Take care, guys. Thanks again. Bye for now.